Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, we will be talking about spelling. Hi, my name is Guy Trainen. And I'm Ashley Roki, a pre-service elementary school teacher. And this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge, and today we're talking about spelling, so let's go. Okay, here's an app, it's Simo Spelling. Um, and you can choose to be a kid, and you each snowflake is a different category. Mm -hmm. So, snowflake one is short vowels. Short vowels, so you can hit start. Let's spell Zag. Zag, so you drag the letters. A. G. To create a path for the penguin to walk across. A. G. Mm -hmm. Zag. What I really like is that they sound out each part afterwards, they don't just say the word. Spell mm -hmm. the word tip. So tip, and I'll spell it wrong. T. So what happens when you do it wrong? It drops with the letter that they have incorrect. So, try to get it correctly this time? <laughs> You're very good at this. I have to say. Thanks. So, what other levels are there in um, this one? There are long vowels, mm -hmm. bossy R's, Excellent. other vowel teams, irregular vowels. Mm -hmm. So, there's a full span? Yes. And what kind of a report do you get as a teacher or as a parent on this app? Um, I guess you could just track like which spelling patterns students are having issues mm -hmm. with and which ones they are excelling with, and so that's, that could direct your instruction. Okay, so this is a great app for them to practice. They don't really need supervision in this app. They can do it on their own, right? As long as they know which level they're at. Yep, the student I've used it with picked up on it right away. I didn't have to do any explaining hardly at all. Okay, so that's uh, the first app. The next app that I want uh, to talk about with spelling is called Spelling Free. In this one, what we have is we have, as teachers, the ability to create a test or students can create a test. So this can work even for students leading the way, but at the beginning I would argue you want as a teacher to do that. And when you start the test, you get a pad and then you can hear the word that you want to spell. This is very flexible. So unlike, unlike Simo, where they uh, really dictate everything to you, in spelling, what you do is you create your own list and then you uh, create the sounds that go with it. So in this case, the word was ring and you play uh, and, you, and you go and we got, I got 100% on my spelling test. I Good am job. just fantastic. <laughs> Uh, but this is a very easy way to create short or long lists that are completely flexible because you determine everything. Another feature that I love about this is you can actually look at past test scores. So you can look at the history of the students using this device. This is fantastic if you have a one-to-one -one classrooms where really everybody's got the device and everybody can do this. The other thing that you can do is you can actually download somebody else's test. So if somebody else makes the test, so if you're a team of teachers, let's say second grade teachers, and you want to do all of these on devices, you can actually share the burden and then send each other the pin for downloading the test that was created by somebody else and that way you can actually uh, create a much, uh, a much bigger bank of tests, especially if you have a spelling plan and you have those lists uh, prepared in advance, you can easily create it. The other way to use it, of course, is you can here individualize instruction and decide on specific lists for each one of your students if that's appropriate. So that's another way to think about it. Okay. Okay, your turn. The next app that I have is Sight Words. This is pretty simple. You awesome. to learn. learn. It's not up to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Sight Words. Together, we Okay, learn so you're just going to hit start. And board. you can create Select other students, which is nice, because it'll track your levels. Mm -hmm. So we'll just select create one. Your profile. 
And this one is the free version, so I only have two games open, but there's mm -hmm. that, the word machine. Word machine. Control yeah. the word machine. Tap on the word called one. Oh, so right. it's basically just basic sight word recognition, which is nice for really young students. Mm -hmm. And it's very quick. Very quick. And then the gears, the student that I work with right now loves this one. So it tells you the directions clearly. <laughs> um, let. So you just drag it up. So what mm -hmm. happens if you do something wrong? It just goes away? Yep. Okay. That's the one disadvantage to this app that I, when I evaluated it, is it doesn't give you specific feedback. Mm -hmm. If you get it wrong, you just get it wrong. So I saw that as a disadvantage to that. So this has th two different games that are available on the free version, and then yes. if you pay extra, you get the other games. Yes. But they all do the same thing, and that is they all do word recognition practice for sight words. Yes. Okay, so today on iPads in the classroom, we looked at some uh, apps to learn sight words and to do spelling, and we'll see you next time on iPads in the classroom.